these researchers think they have finally found a way to easily get rid of most cancers. And of course, they need malaria to get the job done. Hello and welcome. This is Two Minute Bioengineering with Julius Eckert. So, how would malaria be helpful with treating cancer? And is malaria not super dangerous itself? And are these scientists madmen? Or are they actually up to something? Well, they do not want to use the full malaria. They are just interested in one small part of it. A part that is a perfect connector. A molecule developed by evolution far beyond anything we are currently able to produce in the lab. The connector binds to a specific protein that is usually only expressed in placenta cells. The placenta is the organ which develops during pregnancy to feed the baby. But for some reason, most cancer cells also express this protein. So we can use the connector, which we got from the malaria virus, to make a weapon specifically targeted at cancer cells. And we all know cancer is super bad. Let us quickly have a look at how bad cancer is. Here are the things that kill the most humans every year. Right in second place, we have cancer with a whopping 9 million people being killed every year. The only thing worse is cardiovascular disease, which is causing strokes and heart failure. And if you're interested in that, I do have a video on how bioengineering can fix this as well. By the way, at the bottom of the statistic, you find some man-made problems like wars, terrorism and murder. Just to put things into perspective. Cancer is pretty horrible and we have very little we can do about it. Doctors usually prescribe chemotherapy, which is one of the worst medical practices ever. We only tolerate it because we simply do not have anything better. Chemotherapy boils down to poisoning the patient so much that Either the patient dies or the cancer. And if everything works well, the patient survives so long until the cancer is small enough for us to stop the poisoning. No wonder they call these people cancer survivors. So how good is this new malaria connector? Can it actually bind to cancer cells or is it really just a few cancer types? Well, the scientists had 111 cancer samples and it bound to an incredible 106 of those samples. The malaria connector was happy to bind to lung cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer and many other cancers. And what we want to do with the connector is to combine it with super deadly cell toxins. So the connector better be just connecting to cancers and not any healthy tissue, otherwise it would be pretty useless. So they tested it on many types of healthy tissue and luckily the malaria connector did not bind to any of them. The scientists seem to have a nice connector, but we are not really in the connector business. We are humans, so we care about weapons. In this case we want a weapon against cancer. So. Do the scientists have a working weapon for us? Well, they manufactured a combination of the malaria connector and cell toxin. The idea is that the connector takes a cell toxin to the cancer cells and the cancer cells die. To figure out if this works, they did some testing on mice. They transplanted human lymphoma and prostate cancer cells into mice. So. These are actual human cancers we are fighting here. And they dosed the mice only once with a new weapon. As you can see, after 25 days, all the test group mice were dead, while all the dosed mice were still alive. That initial dosing was even enough to completely heal two mice out of six. And they observed the tumors got smaller after the initial dosing, and it took quite some time until they started to grow bigger again. Then they implanted breast cancer cells into mice and this worked even better. After initial dosing, 5 out of 6 mice were completely healed, while every mouse of the control group 
had died. As you can see, the science looks very promising and the researchers are looking to commercialize their new weapon. But is it just these scientists who try to use a malaria connector to fight cancer? Their patent seems to only cover combinations of the malaria connector and toxins. And because we are living in a time where do-it-yourself bioengineering is finally starting to take off, there's even a YouTuber who is developing a novel cancer drug from home. But instead of using toxins, he develops a treatment using antibodies to make the immune system fight the cancer. Which sounds like a less dangerous solution, because you do not have to put toxins into your body at all. On livestream, he designs the DNA and later sends it to a DNA sequencing company, which will do most of the work for less than $1,000. Then, he plans to test it in his friend's mice testing lab. A link to this guy's live stream is in the description below. I for one am pretty excited to finally get a super effective weapon against cancer. Thank you for watching. This was 2 Minute Bioengineering with Julius Eckert.